Humans and other apes share a fascinating trait that differentiates them from most other mammals, the absence of a visible, functional tail. While human embryos start with a small tail during early development, this structure is largely reabsorbed, leaving only a small remnant at the base of the spine known as the coccyx or tailbone. This vestigial structure hints at an evolutionary history in which tails were once a prominent feature for our distant ancestors. The story of tail loss in humans is complex, involving both an accidental genetic change and the unique adaptations that made this change beneficial. Understanding why humans lost their tails brings together two main forces, genetic mutation and evolutionary selection. The genetic factor behind tail loss is centered on a sequence called ALU elements, which is a type of retrotransposon or jumping gene that copies itself and inserts into new locations within the genome. ALU elements are common in the human genome, making up roughly 10% of our DNA. These sequences do not typically serve a functional purpose but can sometimes disrupt gene function if they are inserted near or within an essential gene. It is believed that in our evolutionary past, an ALU insertion occurred by chance near a gene known as TBXT, T-box transcription factor T, which plays a key role in tail development. In most vertebrates, the TBXT gene is responsible for the development of a tail structure. However, the ALU insertion disrupted the normal activity of TBXT in humans and other great apes. This disruption in TBXT caused the cessation of tail growth during early fetal development resulting in a vestigial coccyx instead of a functional tail. This genetic mutation happened purely by chance. The ALU insertion was accidental rather than a response to any environmental need or adaptation. However, while the genetic change itself was random, it coincided with other significant changes that were advantageous to human evolution, particularly the development of upright bipedalism. As early hominins began to walk on two legs, they adapted an upright posture. In animals that walk or run on all fours, tails serve essential purposes for balance, agility, and communication. For an upright bipedal species, however, a tail became less crucial. The mutation that suppressed tail growth did not hinder bipedal locomotion. In fact, an upright posture provided balance without needing a tail for counterweight. This is why the random ALU insertion could persist across generations without negative evolutionary consequences. The advantage of bipedalism may have further cemented the loss of a tail as an evolutionary trait, turning what could have been a neutral or even disadvantageous mutation in a four-legged animal into a viable characteristic for upright primates. With time, the genetic mutation spread, leading all humans and other great apes to retain the vestigial coccyx instead of a fully developed tail. In summary, the story of human tail loss highlights the interplay of chance and adaptation in evolution. The ALU insertion near the TBXT gene, which accidentally suppressed tail development, led to the vestigial tailbone we now call the coccyx. Although the mutation itself was a genetic accident, it persisted through evolutionary selection because a tail was not necessary for bipedal upright harmonies. 
This fascinating combination of random mutation and beneficial adaptation reveals the complex dynamics that shape species over time reminding us of the ways chance and environment work together in the evolutionary process. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.